Yo, welcome to my channel, Ward Draws a Lot. Obviously, I'm Ward, or I wouldn't have named it Ward Draws a Lot. Today, I bring you a very, very good boy holding a present for Christmas, or any holiday for that matter, which is celebrated around this time that gives and exchanges gifts. Or, hell, maybe he just wanted to exchange or get a gift. I don't know. What I do know is that making this drawing made me extremely angry because it was not only my second time doing it, but it just, I couldn't grasp the pose that I wanted in my head, which was way cooler than the one that I put on paper, but I'm still really happy with how the drawing came out. The Word of Wisdom was telling me, yo, just work on that complicated ass pose later and draw something nice right now to relax yourself because obviously this ain't going the way you want it. I then listened to the Word of Wisdom and ended up with a drawing that I still like even though it wasn't the one I wanted to do originally. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so as I said in the intro, this is my second time filming this, number one. Number two, this was not the pose I had in my head. My head was like a cool perspective shot and I was like, yo, this looks fire, I really want to draw this. And then like, I put my hand to the paper and then it was like, I don't know why. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to do a perspective shot. If I'm still studying perspective, like I'm practicing it as much as I possibly can. So this way I can do perspective drawings, but my brain wanted to jump the gun and be like, yeah, you could already do it. Just go, go, go. And then <laughs> again, once I put my hand in the paper, it was like, um, what's going on here, bro? The dots ain't connecting. It looks good in your head, but it's not translating at all. So I was like, okay, stop. We're going to just start over because we, we we not getting this right here, Ward. Me and Ward was having an argument in my head. It was not working out. So I settled for a pose that's front facing where he's carrying a gift. And honestly, just why not? I, at that point, I was very frustrated. And when you're frustrated in your drawing, I highly suggest don't push yourself any farther. Because if you do, it's just going to get more annoying and you're going to just feel more frustrated and you're just going to not want to draw at one point. So sometimes you've got to make it easy on yourself so you don't end up feeling discouraged and so you don't end up feeling like, man, I don't want to draw anymore. And I don't, I don't like that point where I'm like sitting there and I'm like, this is poopy. I don't want to deal with this anymore. No, like I wanted to have fun because I was like, this is a cute idea and I'm drawing a character that I love and I want to enjoy what I'm doing so that's why I was like okay we're just gonna do what's best for me I guess to a degree and just draw him the way I want to draw him. The other note that I should have kept in my head though as I was drawing the second version was don't have him so stiff because he looks very like rigid and I don't like that I'm trying to stray away from that but you know how um Sometimes you put your pen to the paper and you automatically do the thing that you're comfortable slash known to do slash whatever. So I did that by accident. So in order to make up for that, I made sure to color this as best as possible <laughs> because I was like, man, if I just <laughs> if I just color this really nicely, will anyone notice how bad the pose is? <laughs> <laughs> Which probably uh, people would still notice, yeah, especially if you're an artist yourself, you're gonna be like, okay, yeah, that pose looks a little, I don't know, <laughs> but, you know, at least the coloring would make up for it, is what my brain would th uh, think about it, but honestly, it doesn't matter at the end, whether people like the pose, don't like the pose, like the coloring or not, I still like the overall product, and all I know in my head is I'm just gonna do better next time, which... Again, I think if I just have the time to practice my perspective more and then make these poses that look really cool and really nice, then I will be more comfortable with doing those kind of poses on camera. I, I don't know about y'all, but I choke on camera sometimes. I'm like, crap, like, like here I am. People are going to watch like how I do this process. And if I don't do something cool, then it looks, you know, ass. <laughs> I'm like okay let's just relax and try our best and it's okay whether or not it looks super cool and dynamic or it just looks like a normal drawing i do all the time okay let's talk about how i actually like this part of the drawing which is the coloring i think that the colors came out awesome it's very holiday christmas vibe thing going on um the sweater i didn't want it to do a very bright red i feel like um christmas colors are a darker green and a darker red and i honestly think the sweater was one of the best shaded sweaters i've done in like a while 
because instead of uh, using red and then just deeper red tones to shade it, I used a reddish burgundy to create the shading, which makes it look a little bit more almost realistic. And I really liked how it came out. Um, sometimes I feel like camera doesn't do the colors justice because when I'm coloring and it's in front of me, it looks so vibrant and cool and all this stuff. And then camera just kind of tones it down a lot. So I honestly think it came out super awesome, the coloring part for all of it. The skin, the sweater, the uh, green box uh, gift present thing, <laughs> the green box gift present thing, nice. And the hat, I, it all came out so nicely. It gave it this very warm uh, feel and look to it, which uh, I personally would like to strive for more in uh, my artwork because it, it just looks and feels like a nice wholesome little thing, you know? Especially because this is a wholesome character, so I wanted to try and match the colors of the drawing in retrospect to him. So what I did for the ribbon of the gift box is I used a Posca pen instead. Um, again, the camera didn't do it justice, but uh, in real life it's got more of a sheen to it and it looks like a metallic ribbon which I really wanted to get the look of and uh, you really can't get that with uh, like markers unless it's a metallic marker but the Posca pen did it uh, justice and I really like how it brought it out just a little bit more and it, it actually gives it some texture on the paper as well so it feels like the actual ribbon is on the gift box. After that, I took the white uh, gel pen and I went around and cleaned up everywhere that I colored outside the line of, of course, because I always do that. And then I also took the white gel pen and I made little strokes around the sweater to make it look like it's on the fuzzier side or like fluffier side. And I did that to the hat as well. Overall, again, I really like how it came out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and remember I love you. Oh, and happy holidays. Goodbye.